Hello ladies and gents, my name's Lost and today I am going to show you how to create tiles through code. Uh, this is really useful, this is like super useful for like random generation and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is we need to add the tile set as a sprite. Um, so I'm just going to call it sprite tile uh, grass. I'm just going to import it, and there you go, just origin, leave that at the top left, I'm not sure if it matters or not, but that's just what we have to do, uh, or that's just what we're doing, rather, and then for the tile set, I'm just going to say TI grass, and link it to the sprite. Now, from as far as I know, you can't have tiles that are bigger than this particular box, I don't really know why that's the case, it just seems to be, um, but in any case, our tiles are, I believe, 160 wide by 90 height. That's it, yep, yeah, there we go. So that's how you then sort of set the tiles up. Uh, we then need an object, and I don't know, we'll just call it object tile set, uh, setter, why not? And then we need a create event. Uh, let's have a look. So in here, just make this bigger for you. Um, create tile map. So, what we have to do is we first of all we have to create a new layer, right? So we're going to say global dot ground layer equals layer create, uh, and then you have to give it a depth. So it's just minus one. Now. What you could do here, you don't actually have to do this. You could go into the room and then, you know, create a layer this way instead through here. But that's slower because you have to specify a string, whereas this way you don't have to. So that's why we're doing it this way. Um, uh, next up, then, we have to then say global. We have to create the, ta the tile map. So tile map uh, grass, and then we'll just say equals layer tile map create. And actually, I'm just going to go ahead and make this a bit bigger. So we need to get the layer ID, which we just specified as global ground layer. Uh, the X and Y, which is the top left, that's where it starts, so the top left of your room. The tile set, you have to specify which tile set you're going to be using. I think we call ours yeah, TI grass. Now the width of the tile map, um, ours just needs to be the entire room. So we're just going to say um, room width and room height. And there we go. We've created our tile map. So all I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to say, you know, if we click the left mouse button, create a tile. That's how I'm going to go with this. So click to create. And then I guess we'll just say, you know, um, if mouse check pressed or button pressed yeah so if we press the mouse left button the mouse left button yeah I think whatever <laughs> whatever I'll show up I'm on crack again I don't know what I'm saying so I'm just gonna create like a random one so I'm just gonna say ran data and the reason I just I always oh god's sake the reason I name this var ran data is just because if you look at the tile map uh, oh, actually it's not gonna show you here Okay, well, I'll show you why I do that in a sec. Uh, and we'll just go with an I random range um, between uh, between one and eight. Actually, it is one. Is that right? How many? How many of these are they? So with with these tiles, this first one has to be blank. As far as I'm aware, you cannot have a tile here, or so it won't work. So let's see. We how many tiles do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, there's eight tiles starting from one here. So run data between one and eight because there's eight tiles and I don't really mind which tile we put down. So then we need to say tile map set oops set at pixel uh, and then we need global uh, global ground tile map grass there you go and then just choose run data and we'll put it at the mouse X and the mouse Y. Now, you can't actually put it exactly at the mouse X and the mouse Y. 
um, it's going to create a tile map based. So the tile map is essentially. Uh, it would help if I put it in the room. Hold on. Let me put it in the room and I'll explain what I'm talking about. So as you can see, like it doesn't actually create it at the mouse's total X and Y because um, as you can see, it's like. It's sort of set, if you like, and I guess that's because of our tile map obviously um you can't customize where it's like goes like it's gonna always be like on the particular row if you see what i'm saying um i'm not sure if there's anywhere else to do that but yeah so there you go guys that's how you then go about creating tiles through code um hopefully that was helpful and yeah i will see you guys next time hey guys lost here give the video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you're new and want more content like this and please give me your thoughts down below in the comments catch you guys later